In this video, we're going to review how to send information from OpenBridge Modeler to LibBridge Concrete. So I have three bridges here, a segmental and a steel and a pre girder. I'm going to work just with the pre girder. So I'm just going to hide the other two. And the segmental two. Okay, so my active bridge will only be the pre-stress girl. And let's review some properties. Uh, for example, I'm gonna check the the beam groups, right? And the beam group has one type of beam, right? And just to drill further, what I can do is go, for example, to the beam layout here and edit and just verify what kind of beam do I have. So I go edit and there's the beam definition. Just to illustrate the point that what do I have? I have a New England 1400 beam right that it's applied to all beams so on purpose i'm going to change this design in uh, libridge concrete so let's assume that design is done right the modeling is done so i would say i need to perform the design into libridge concrete so send it to libridge concrete right it creates the file it gives me a report what information is being sent to Libridge Concrete for design. And if I have Libridge Concrete on my machine, as I have, it will open Libridge Concrete. And I'm ready to do the, the design part of it. So it loads. And I can double check the geometry. This is the spans. Uh, check the superstructure. Right? And uh, see all the same all the same beams. So what I'm going to do now is as I said on purpose, one of uh, these beams that I have, right? I'm going to change it to a different format so let's see on the first span I will change this beam to a complete different one so it's easier to track I'm gonna change it maybe to a Florida 78 beam right just to as I said illustrate the purpose that we can make any kind of modifications into the design software and then it these same combinations or same modifications will be taken by Liberate open bridge model. So I'm done here, right? I just change it just to verify that one more time. Right? Uh, the beam is different, way different, right? So that's okay. I will update the concrete model. Right? Uh, saying that, I will now update. Big difference. I will update the OpenBridge Modeler. So I will send send to OpenBridge Modeler. Uh, let's call it um, preliminary design. Okay. And that's it. So now when I go back to, I can close this. So yes, I want to save it. Now, when I go back to OpenBridge Modeler, right, as it's here, I can say, update the model with the preliminary design file. Right here. And then what it's going to give me is a report and say, what changes do you want to take? Right, everything is the same, except that the first span, remember I changed, it's a different beam path, 
and it's also a different beam section. Do I want to update that? Uh, okay, so let's say yes to see how drastically the layout will change. So you have to remember, you have to redo all the graphics, move the text, the beam seats, and everything else that goes with that. Uh, sudden change in the design, and I think we can see it right here, right now. Visualize that change and see if this be uh, you can see this big change that has happened into the project. No? Obviously, it's not the, it's not what we want to do, but just to illustrate that even uh, a change in the geometry in both sides, either in uh, Open Bridge Modeler or Libridge Concrete we will take it by the software and then I said obviously this is wrong right we don't design like that well I can go back one more time to open bridge modeler and say this is not a good layout I need to change it and it is not supposed to be a Florio beam it's supposed to be this you know, then come back and still be able to edit it so it's a two-way operation on what I can do. Everything gets moved. Now it's a better uh, design now on the size of the beams that I'm trying to do. Of course, right? And then uh, it's it's easier now. One more time. What I can do with the design now is to, to say I need to send it to design again and keep performing the operations. I hope this illustrates that the two-way exchange of information that we allow with Open Bridge Modeler, the physical model of the bridge being analyzed with Libridge Concrete, the same will happen with Libridge Steel or RM Bridge for the analytical calculations. So that physical model becomes an analytical model and vice versa, the analytical model will update as well with the latest information the physical model of the bridge. Thank you.